Hi guys, welcome to our ISO builder. We are on CHDWM, but with some knowledge, right? You can actually mix things. What I don't mix, well, I never mix, is the Wayland Wix X11. You won't see me mix that. That won't work, right? Now, topic of the video is a question that has been asked and my response is often, try it, test it out. And what is the question? Can we install Arclinx on? And then you get the numbers. An eight year old computer, a 10 year old computer, a 14 year old computer with this and with that, right? The answer is test it out. But what if we went to look for the information online, right? This time around on YouTube, I answered, look at all the Arch Linux ISOs you find and see what they say, right? What are the installation requirements? So that's what we're gonna Google, installation requirements. What is Arch saying? Arch Linux says, should run on any x86 64-bit, 64-bit eh, CPU, compatible machine with, and there we go, right? Do I have, do I have WPS installed spreadsheets? No documents. Why is this bigger? There's no line here. Now there is. Okay, so. How will we organize ourselves? Arch Linux, minimum mem, right? Minimum memory, 512. Well, the 64 bit, we know that, right? 32, no, nobody has a 32 uh, CPU unless you go back like 14, 15 years ago. But then there are other distros, right? 64 bit with a minimum of 512 megabyte RAM. So that's the RAM minimum. Let's do the random access memory, right? RAM, minimum RAM 512. Though more memory is needed to boot. Oh, look at that. Though more memory is needed to boot the live system for installation. A basic installation should take less than two gigabyte of disk space, disk space, disk space. In this case, it's space, right? Meaning ah, it has really nothing, right? gigabyte so that is a base installation all right as the installation process needs to retrieve packages from your more internet connection is available okay URL info where will we put that here somewhere control V enter that's better Here's a link. What does that say? Hello all, simply I want to tell you the last one is more than 512 megabyte of RAM. If you try to put it in a machine, you can test with the box. Uh, 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 uh. Failed, right error. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but I think that if news need more, uh, maybe it's a good idea to publish a notice on Arshlink's website. So here is an information that 512 will not cut it, right? 512 megabytes. Question mark. Okay, a little bit more. Now, before going to Endeavor and Garuda and all the other guys, Arch, right? I want to have a look because in our Calamaris, if you are a developer or if you make um, ISOs, right? You can use for free the Calamaris configuration scripts and, and application and Python and all that. And I do believe controlled. Let's do this and then that RG minimum. Let's see. Nope. Mm, RG RAM. Telegram, of course, welcome. It's the welcome document. So what we say, and that's Calamars, of course, we 
ask for you guys to have an SSD. So that's Calamaris setting. That uh, insert row above, cool. Calamaris settings. We tell you that a minimum of 15 gigabytes and otherwise Calamaris says we won't do it. That's basically a setting. Now, if you're an, an, yeah, who hasn't 15 gigabyte, right? But okay, in virtual machines, that's something else. Re required RAM, we had an issue with that. I remember Calamaris having issues and we've put it to one, right? Minimum one, otherwise it will say it's not met. The criteria to boot up is not met. And that probably has to do with the fact that we're an arch, right? So one gigabyte is what we have. Let's uh, save this thing here. Save as, where will we put you? We'll put you in, wow. In sync, Linux. Lots of stuff. Do I have something like documents? I'll figure that out later. Minimum requirements. Voila. Let's do a study. So that's something we've done. And we do check if there is storage and RAM, if power is there, internet is our root. But we want, right? RAM has to be there. If there is no RAM, we can't do anything. If there is no storage, we can't do anything. And if you're not root, we can't do anything. So those are the really the requirements and this will check and give a message. So that's our work. Calamaris decisions from the past. So that's Arch. Hmm. I don't have to look on ours because we don't have it, right? And DevOS, we have system, there we go, requirements. Now, again, right, it's, it's, it's not fixed. I mean, it's not, we try as good as possible to give an estimate, right? But basically there is no golden rule. We can only surmise what we hear from people and say, okay, that didn't, didn't work or that didn't work. But I guess I better read it like this because here it says, Mete works with a minimum of two gigabytes RAM. Okay, let's see. Two gigabytes RAM, but that's a desktop Mate. Successor of, okay, requirements, full DE. Here again, two gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes is recommended. Ah, we could add the recommended, right? Insert, insert, insert column to the left and recommended, recommended RAM. Four gigabytes is indeed already, already some, some room, eh? Okay. Do we find somewhere, maybe an installation? No. Oh, there's a gigahertz, but that's Manjaro. Make use of, let's have a look. System requirements. At least 10 gigabyte, they say. If that's true, right? Look at the source, make use of. That's not in DevOS. And four gigabytes of RAM, yeah. For example, mm -hmm, each need four gigabyte of RAM to function smoothly. So yes, I can gather that it's a little bit dependent on the, the desktop, surely. Minimum two gigahertz. Here we have something about the CPU. Insert, 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 column to the left. CPU, that's too big. CPU and then the gigahertz. No, that's the higher, that's the better, right? That's the higher, that's the better. There are machines in here, the dual core, F quad cores. 
but it won't turn into magical flying machines, right? It's it's old school and, and it will be very, very slow, right? Simple as that. It's not gonna turn your old machine in the latest model. Here they see 30 gigabyte, 10, 15, 30. Manjaro Linux requires that. I don't think that's really true. Although all my virtual machines, so I can't really know, all my virtual machines are by minimum rank 30, always. So I'm ill-equipped because I'm always having 30, whatever it is. But this is not Endeavor OS, right? So we keep finding if we find something else. Could go have a look. I would say yes, I'm using the last five years. So yes, uh, eight gigabyte RAM is enough for virtual machines. It's strange that this, this, maybe we should do that, yeah. If we do control C, then we click, control find, control V, there you have it. Four gigabyte of RAM, four gigabyte of RAM. I would concur with that, two is little, it's, it's almost nothing, yeah. So the only reason why a two gigabyte might work because of the fact that the desktop is so low end, does not need a lot of memory that it can work. But I hope they're not machines with one gigabyte because that's really nothing. All right, so that was Endeavor OS. Garuda. So Garuda Linux, 30 gigabyte storage, Garuda. Mm, storage, 30 gigabyte. And recommended, four gigabytes. Yep, I would do the same. Minimum, well actually four gigabyte would be my choice, but minimum, yeah, that's minimum. And that's recommended then. Okay, video card and so on, 64 bit, sure. Let's see if we find something, more items maybe. There you go. Video card and so on, 64 bit, yes, we know that. It's okay, right? We got our figures, there's nothing about gigahertz or dual core or quad core or anything like that. We do have here system requirements and notes. Let's have a look. 30 gigabyte disk space, check four gigabyte RAM, check recommended, aha. So here we have also disk storage, recommended disk storage, recommended disk space. is then 40 gigabytes, okay. And recommended is then RAM. Oh, where am I? Garuda. So Garuda recommends space and the recommended RAM is eight. Okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. cool. Yep. This feels, in my eyes, in my feeling, working with machines the last six years, a good figure, right? So I'm also thinking about what will we say, right? This would be, I think, a good number. Um, 40 gigabytes is, well, in our region, I should add, we can't buy anything less than 250 gigabyte SSDs. Okay, I know. The world is not created equal. So that's Karuda. Who else? Manjaro. It's Arch and not Arch, you know the difference. You check it out, but it's 
not exactly the same thing but let's have a look one gigabyte of memory so that's this one one gigabyte 30 gigabytes of hard space so that's this one 30 gigabyte minimum let's add a min minimum this space can we also wrap text of course we can this is pure excel right this is pure excel it is isn't it nice and all the icons up up i find everything nah not that automatic it's the filling i would like to have and then maybe that's nah, okay well um what else one gigahertz oh, that is nothing here one gigahertz <laughs> wow that's gonna be fast blazing fast one gigahertz one gigahertz uh, one gigabyte that's that one check 30 gigabytes is that one check one gigahertz is that one high definition carb robot internet yeah okay is four gigabytes enough gnome takes about 600 browser and so on leaves you one gigabyte breathing mm hmm So then everything gets a bit slower. And here they say two days ago you will need a two gigabyte USB flash download will work on. Let's have a look. Ah, it's an Intel Atom. We want this 64. Here's some texts, minimum two gigabyte RAM. But that's for an atom. Thirty gigabyte. Here's an hardware story. A Manjaro Linux system requirements. Let's have a look at that. Mm -hmm. And here we see one gigabyte. 30 gigabyte, 1 gigahertz, high definition. Okay, that's exactly the same thing. Now we've found. I think it's time for something else. What else do we have? The other day I installed Big Linux. It's also Arch. But it's big. <laughs> and it's plasma. So, 1, 2 gigabyte minimum. Big Linux minimum one two gigabytes. Okay, what else? Central processing unit, an Intel Pentium or a higher processor. Yeah, Intel Pentium is way back in time. Four to five gigabytes is enough to store the system. Oh guys, you don't know how big Big Linux is. This is not Big Linux. No, we need to go to big Linux system requirements. That's better. Uh -huh. Here he is. Big Linux and busca do sistema perfecto. Sistema operacional. So, yep, that's the site. The thing is, I need system requirements to solve your needs, office software, web apps, games. They really do love web apps, you should have a look at it. It's incredible. I rather have things on my own machine. Choices, as always. Android, iPhone, choices. So, hello, system requirements. Where do we find system requirements? Documentation, code, disclosure, financial donation. Let's give it a try. System requirements. All right. Then we do big Linux system requirements. Yeah. 
review. This is back to the main page. <laughs> Which Linux is the best? The question. What is the best? The one that you like, that's the best. Ah, la, 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 la. we got something. 64 bit Intel, yeah, sure. Two gigabit RAM, okay, let's go. So, yeah, that's this one. Is this a big Linux, so this is the best source. Two gigabytes, all right. Eight gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes. Uh, plasma is quite big. I think I've deleted already a big Linux, but if it's, you, you know, if you install Plasma and lots of fun with it, so if you, well, go in and install it and see how big it is, don't think you have much mi gigabytes over. But okay, recommend it. That's the minimum and minimum disk space. Recommend it. Is then four giga gigabyte here. Yeah, we're gonna, we can make this this fork, yeah? 2 to 4 and A2 to 4T. Okay, so again, the same as Garuda. Okay, cool, we got something. Here's the kernel 61 and 5.1.5, so a little bit older, and the 6.2. Off we go. That's that. Did they say something about hertz, gigahertz? No. Eh? Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What I'm typing now is ATT on the other screen. And the ATT is the Arch Linux Tweet tool. And we have Reborn OS. That we support as well. Reborn OS. Enter. Save. Reborn OS. Hmm. Yes. Minimum of 2 gigabytes. At least 20 gigabyte free for basic usage. Oh, that's here. 20 gigabytes free for basic usage. An active internet connection, of course. But no buts. It's Reborn Noise Project. Here we see some requirements on the wiki. All right, so 1.2 dual core, Ooh, right? That's also old school. Let's do a point. I hope he likes it. Yeah, he likes it. And then gigahertz dual. Well, dual. Eh? That's enough. We know what dual is. And then two gigabyte check. Recommended four gigabytes check. And then 20 gigabyte and 64 or more. 64 gigabyte, 64 plus gigabyte. Voila. That's Reborn OS. All right, next up, uh, Archcraft. Archcraft, system requirements, system requirements. How much RAM, minimum requirements for Arch Linux? Let's have a look again. At least 512, one gigabyte. Yeah, that's what we found, Eons. Uh, GitHub Archcraft, maybe? Archcraft downloads. Hmm. Let's try here. We've often seen it in the downloads. Maybe that's a good place for me as well to put it there. What our options would be, our suggestions might be. But it's not there. Do we have a search? More recycle. Buy me coffee, right? Guys, buy me coffee. If there's anybody who is still making beautiful 
beautiful design and looks and customized systems also in the Wayland department have a look like it buy it because he's also um, selling sort of you check it out but there is indeed get on get on coffee and, and voila sway desktop there are beautiful things in here but it's with the money that you'll get it maybe in the wiki Uh, minimal it can run under 500 megabyte of RAM let's see Archcraft minimum 500 gigabyte whoa um, megabyte then <laughs> megabyte of RAM but right that's probably not ideal and that's it it is minimal because of the fact that it's often tiny when it manages so that is in by definition eh? by definition is not tiling when a manager always minimal minimal require month okay we have to do it with this next stop Voilà. Then that was Cache OS. Cache OS. What do they say? System requirements. System requirements. Not really. Here we have something in the Wikipedia. Let's see. Cache OS. Um, Let's go for the word minimum of minimal or something. Minimum. I think we saw something, but here. Cash system requires general receive one gigahertz. One gigahertz they say. Three gigabyte. Uh, okay. 3 GB, let's put it in minimal. Data storage, 30 GB. Recommends, that's what we recommend. And 64 version 3 supported processor. We recommend not 3 GB, but 4 GB of RAM. And in 50 GB of hard disk. And an internet connection, obviously, and then yeah, AMD or Nvidia or Intel. Okay. Archman is also something where we can use the Arch Linux tweaker. Sorry. It's a whole study, right? Archman, 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 Archman. Here again, the minimal requirements, always Ionos. What is Archman Linux from Turkey? Uh -huh. yeah, this. What's this? What are some for Arch Linux? This is Quora. 1.3 fully loaded. 10 to 15 gigabyte disk space. So we're covered with these numbers. Is there a website of Archman? Archman.org. Let's go to something else as a language, right? Super F. Where is language change? Translate. Let's go to English. Follow. 
news forum often it's in the download we've seen so let's go there disclaimer no warranties expressed or implied or comprehensive or made for technologies based you're screwed if it doesn't work we do it exactly the same right but it's reliable but i don't see minimal anything and that's now we fall back on the arch directives but i think we better make it kind of summary of all the things that we found so archman um well we have axel but axel is is gone let's make some advertising for our spin-off so zero Linux went on his own way and let's hope he has the minimum requirements if not i'll tell him later in discord it might be a good idea we'll have we'll do the same right we've done the study now i have already an idea of what i will uh, say as minimum re minimal requirements features maybe in the download somewhere where are our downloads here main points support gnome yeah he's also why paid so have a look um why he is going for an iso that's paid he has his reasons you decide on whether you want to do it or let's go for the merch right what is he doing wow right have some fun buy something and support the distro you're having right why not fun you walk around and everybody asks hey what's that oh that's my operating system voila i don't think we'll find it i'll kind of have another go maybe somewhere else here the sentence goes we recommended installing this os so let's have a look what do they recommend Control find we recommend install uh, 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 eight gigabyte of RAMs they say right so um, pop up zero Linux eight gigabytes of RAM but that's more not a minimal kind of thing but hey what did you do make this bigger why do you do that so xero linux recommended ramp is probably then that one right all right enough information for me i don't know how long the video is 33 minutes that's okay so summary right summary let's draw a line here let's see if everything works nicely this is so excel so excel and it's WPS, thick box border, all borders, boom, voila. Line, you go out, delete, bad that, right? And here comes Arconex. What will we use? What will we say? The gigahertz, the CPU, Eric. What did you type there? I thought, what's that? CPU. Yeah. And we're gonna go for two gigahertz all right one is no fun two gigahertz oh drag it can't we drag it oh we can't that's something different so x and v minimum ram i would suggest two gigabyte i would suggest four to eight gigabytes and as numbering a good average between all these numbers is 20 to 30 gigabytes if you're having plasma with all the applications it's 30 if not more right if you start adding gimp and inkscape and some stuff and then blender and this and that right it's up to you but 20 30 minimal um, well actually this is more the recommended size eh? so Control x Control V, 
and the minimal I'll take 15 to 20 right yeah good forks voila we've made our decision so the guy down on YouTube says, what's the minimal requirement? I think that would be a sound minimal or average for the year 2023. We are not, that's important. We're not making an operating system for old machines gathering dust in your attic or in your cellar. We are making a distro with, with the, the best hardware that we can buy today. That's what Linux should have. The best hardware in the house, right? And maybe I can include this because you'll say, but I don't have the money for it. It costs around 15 to 20 euros. And I don't have the money either to have all these machines. And one for Windows and one for Mac and one for Linux, right? Now, this is it. This is it. You pop in the SSD, just a lever, and goes open well windows out all the games out all the two terabyte ssd all the steam games terabytes of, of games on there you put it on the shelf and then you put red hat in there you put linux mint in there you put ubuntu in there you learn you learn you learn back to playing or back to work for school you pop linux out back to windows and do your stuff don't mix right dual booting can be dangerous can be can be fun but can be dangerous it only matters I mean, it's what what do you want to do with the machine right is it work related is it students university high school related don't mess with it right keep it separate and this is a separate solution what voilà. so that's included also again right and i'm gonna add this particular lines to our download page would be best all right Cheers.